uh, hello again I hope you hear me now one two three four five okay uh, I'm not sure I understand the issue but what I did was I changed the Ethernet I changed the Ethernet cable to my PC on which I stream. Uh, maybe that one is broken, but it's very strange to have it like not working suddenly when I didn't do anything with that. Uh, okay, so. I was saying, if you want to watch it later, it will be possible. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, it will be possible. I didn't mean to then stop streaming. Uh, so YouTube saves the whole video and you will be able to watch and scroll through that later. Uh, so uh, in Twitch, let's try to correlation one. We have something here. Hmm. Hmm. We have two videos. Uh, okay. Uh, the idea is that if some resource like this is available, it's very good to understand what so some already some on-site events I think I'm not sure if those were on-site but some competitions already happened and uh, we can just watch good alg uh, good algorithms from those I'm not sure maybe those are the same that we can find uh, sorry, when playing a game here we can choose bosses and while a few first bosses are like have names like Spectre, Hudson, Hound Dog. They seem like names chosen by names chosen by organizers. They also have some like uh, quality in stars. Mm, so, but I think after that we have just good algos from from events. So maybe some of this is the same with what we will see here. Uh, but I don't know. Mm. So Tech alumni who will be, I believe, right? Something let's like let's try to quickly go through that. Alumnus. <laughs> um, yeah, but he's he's actually participated. We have a couple of people who participated in our. Uh, of course, tell me if the sound quality is okay. Also, whether I should put the sound like uh, up or down. Before in here, what is it called? Semifinals strategy that's a little different from what we've seen from him before he has a, a long line running to the corner okay so this is similar to a lot of the strategies that attack the corner but he's uh yeah. it seems like he's going to be opening up uh algo one with a lot of the mp so uh okay it might make a lot of sense to uh, make a wall like a line to block almost everything in your side except for a small passage and then you can focus your mm, towers that deal di uh, damage in this exact spot uh, not to you know spread out everything when i've read uh, the rules first like the types of units and so on i thought that it would be best to just create long corridor this is something that you would sometimes do in tower defense game to create like a zigzag corridor and put uh, like then your opponent almost can't uh, reach your side. Uh, but what is important here is that we have some limited resources, uh, some limited metal for towers, and if our opponent would every time send those high-ranged units uh, and every time destroy a few of our first uh, like towers at the front of our territory then we I think we wouldn't be able to keep up with replenishing that 
Mm. Just to pick off the uh, plants. So maybe yeah, it's better to do something like this. His, his the next thing is that you can see here cheap uh, walls just in front of towers that do damage. It makes sense to have a wall in order to absorb damage because it's cheap, but then a regal tower is just behind that and of course it's more expensive, you care about it more. On the other hand, you d this has a disadvantage because your damage tower uh, like only can hit units two places before the wall then because it has a range of three. Uh, while units going, uh, units, enemy unit that is here right now would be able to already hit walls, even if it's pink or tank. Sorry, tank not because uh, it can't hit towers. But well, you you have smaller range because of that. You must think when enemy units can hit you and when you can hit them. And this has a disadvantage of making you hitting them a bit later. It's really efficient because he can use a sniper, an EMP line strategy, and destroy a lot of the towers in the front row, which it looks like he's going to do this game. Look, every time he sends these EMPs like he's doing now, it's going to do so much damage. Yeah, this is this is a net economic advantage for McElgo. And in, interesting okay. that Algo 1 has decided this net economic It's, I think, very important thing here happened, because suddenly Ping Guy, instead of sending something that destroys opponent. Uh, here we see that enemy defenses aren't strong, so he just sent a lot of cheap fast units. Here we can see 10 pings. And they almost, they almost can't do damage to opponent, like they do very small damage and they didn't have that high range, but he was able to produce a lot of them and do a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. And now we see a tank, and That's behind this set. tank there Just was a few high range units. One, not doing so good. Here oh, again. Three yeah, it looks like McAlgo is going to take this first game. His bot is and also here we see a few support towers. And His Alga looks super impressive. I've, it's nicely aggressive, like nicely visualized. When the units approach these support towers, they got an extra like shield. This is like. This is that extra half. Right now, so Pink does something very smart. Yeah, he's gonna release. He's gonna use one health. Time to do it. Here he uh, enforces. Well, he strengths his units, and they are very strong when they so enter an enemy territory. Let's see. Let's see who's next. One of our favorites too is we're not seeing our next favorite, which is Racket, but we're seeing Ow and Tess. I, I think it's more of an oof. An oof. An oof. Ugh. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's see who takes this one. All um, right, so totally different opening strategies than we saw, saw in the last game. Um, not sure what's really going on with the filters in the back for test, but um, it seems like so sure. What a moment ago, again, we saw uh, like 10 cheap units here that were able to really pass through everything the because this defense wasn't uh, like dense enough and it's also important to remember then that when you deal damage to opponent's health when you reach his edge you get extra metal and not only it helps you with your defense because at some moment you can say yeah my defense is good enough and i want just i want to be offensive i want to get my opponent's health to zero because he's like he's losing, so I can mm, uh, go with that. So then we, you can spend that extra uh, metal on support towers. So thanks to this quick rush, in the next turn you are able to build like what two, maybe three extra support towers, and make your units stronger by thirty, half of thirty. So. Maybe a few a few turns like that will allow you to quickly win. It seems like Ooh is going for a pretty standard filtering strategy. Going to try to funnel things over the corners and then protect them with like buffed up uh, mm -hmm. units. Yeah, Oof's pings are scoring a lot. There's a little opening over there, but he looks like he's not going to be able to use that opening because he just blocked off that whole line. Yeah. So 
it seems like he was going for the EMP train, but he did a little late. Apparently not that it matters. That yeah. was disgusting. <laughs> Lots and, of damage there. And that, folks, is why you don't put a bunch of dispersed filters everywhere. Yeah, those spread out filters are not doing much work for tests at all, and they're costing a lot. There's, so. uh, there's no defense here. Filters don't do any damage. The EMP is going to okay. run every it time. Isn't, um, yeah, and now that, now that his defense is to act, we only sending those every couple of rounds, so it's going to be a... Not his... With, uh, with Strat, I kind of want to do that. Direct. Fall left in his corner is really immediately getting taken advantage of. That's going to hurt him. Okay, so here we have a completely different match. Uh, corner is really... Where both, both players decided to build along the border, but in a slightly different fashion. And... Here we can see that one player sends those cheap basic units and he starts them here, uh, like very far in his territory, but since they go to the opposite side, they go here, so their goal is basically to get to this place. And this isn't like, if your opponent doesn't defend this corner well, it might be a very good uh, way to attack. Really immediately getting taken advantage of. That's gonna hurt him. I wonder if that was coded in for Randall oh. Rex to uh, target the corners like that. Yeah, I, it would be interesting. It looks like he's put some de destructors up, so those might have been uh, a response to the fact that he's been getting scored on in there. It def so here Ping Guy knows that he will keep attacking here, so he put those support towers this place, what is very smart, and the blue guy also isn't stupid because uh, I think his algorithm understood that he's being attacked all the time here, and uh, he keeps defending this. Uh, he builds defensive tower that do damage in this place, what is like a very good thing here to do. Uh, so, some basic defense approach would be put more towers in the place where you're attacked, where, let's say, you were attacked in the previous turn. Definitely looks like a response now. He's building a ton of destructors in the area I mean, where he's getting scored. I'd from both guys. I'd be interested to know if, if Ramblin Rec decided to put the encryptors on that side because he noticed the opening, or if that's just pre-coded. Hmm, it looks like Starwell might be able to come back since he's responded yeah. so well yeah, to the attack. That's impressive uh, okay. dynamicism. And we see here something that I didn't uh, explain from rules. If it's impossible to reach the opponent edge, the opponent side, uh, the, I said that there is some fixed algorithm that your units follow. Uh, so then your, un your unit finds the furthermost, like the uh, uh, cell to which it can get that is uh, very far away in the opponent territory, let's say. It wants to go as far as possible and he destroys itself there, kind of like a uh, suicide. And uh, he, destro yeah, but the he fact destroys that he's some enemy towers there. And we saw that a moment ago here. The encryptors know oh, that, oh, you mean that right? Rex yeah, is building. Right, right. Yeah, they might eventually help him get through. Actually, now on, on second thought, I, w I wonder if he decided intentionally, uh, Starwall, to put those on that side, because it looks like he's building it out. It, it, does, it does look like reaction, but he's putting more in places that he doesn't necessarily need to. Hmm. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, let's this game is... This, let's get this mouse. Oh yeah, the, the mouse the is in the middle of the board. <laughs> Terrible. Um, so, this is actually a very close, interesting match. It looks like both players' main plans have been foiled by the other players' responses. Oh, and we have an upset Star Wars. Right. So, Blue Guy was losing here, and he was being attacked by, by Pink a few times in this line. Uh, I think most of the damage was done by those quick, cheap units, uh, but his program understood that uh, he must put a lot of towers here and he managed to defend this place now it isn't that good to attack here and at this time blue decided to enforce his units at this place and he managed to here send 
enough uh, waves of those cheap fast units. Can I, can I get a little replay on that? I, like Ramblin' Ragtag, oh, that was a smart strategy. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, let's, let's leave the rest for later. There are still a few matches here. Uh, but uh, I think like, it isn't that interesting to watch everything at once. Uh, okay, let's see how we would implement any implement anything. For that, we will need docs. Uh, so everything must be implemented in Python. Documentation. Okay, and I think the most important. Mm, so there is something like advanced game state module. So, so if it has word, if it has word advanced, so far we don't need it. Algo core game map game state navigation. I think we'll need one of them mostly. Okay, so uh, of course one needs some time to understand how everything happens, but if I'm not mistaken, mm, their programs, they like uh, their provided implementation, allows us to simulate game ourselves. So we can create some state of game and we can do, for example, add unit for it, what would just indeed create a unit immediately not hire a unit and spend money just we can simulate whatever we want uh, it also has things like distance between locations also we could do it ourselves with some simple uh, formula like square root of distance x square and plus distance y square just a bunch of uh, functions get locations in range this is also something we could do ourselves but there are functions like this so far we will not need that at the beginning we want to start with something very simple not with simulating like for for starters we will not simulate anything we'll just like first the provided basic algo just tries to build at some places and from this the what we can do what is the simplest thing we could do well, we can hire unit units at random places. What after that? We can try to put new towers, defense towers, at places we are where we are being attacked. This is one thing. Then later we can think about waves of units that we send, not just send two units every turn. Uh, likely we will not want to send units from random places from our edge but from one place and maybe then we will move to smartly choosing that one place so to be like in the top 20 percent of leaderboard likely you need something that is simple that works so doesn't crash and that does something more than the basic build randomly thing and from this with small steps you should move to smarter algorithms algorithms and once you are at very very high level uh, if you have some access to replays you know what top algorithms do then what we should do is we should implement an algorithm that we for example saw here in this match some winning algorithm uh, so this is one thing that we can do. We can just try to copy that. And the next thing to do is to try to beat it. Try to find a counter strategy for that. And if you want to win the co whole competition, likely you will need, like, maybe not tens, but for sure a lot of different algorithms written uh, in your machine that you compare against each other. And, uh, like, 
improving your main strategy doesn't mean just making it efficient. It means making it beat other algorithms, making it more like it should adjust to what happens. So then we will s start with things like, okay, I must make m my corners very strong because many people attack those because it's a vulnerable place. I should make like, let's say I will make some place the only possible passage to my edges. So I will st try mm, enforcing that place. And later, much later, we'll also add support towers. So for sure, a simple algorithm, simple uh, approach will not need those support towers. You will only, it's a huge mistake to try to make everything uh, be in your algorithm first. It's perfectly okay to first just uh, try with one unit, well, one type of unit, and to just focus on towers. And then maybe add a second unit. Then maybe try to put a tank one place before our high-ranged units. So, small steps. You should also remember that when you write some optimization pr uh, problem, like, for example, Top Coder Marathon, Mm, or something else where you have some days or hours and you're supposed to solve some not binary problem as good as possible then you don't write a one like 1000 line solution at once you just make small improvements okay so this wasn't i think uh, a module that we want to use because we will not simulate things uh, for now Pink. So these are some constants like encryptor, decrypt, destructor. Maybe we'll need them to. When we, for example, hire a unit, we must use some function, and it will be something like hire unit, and we must put location and type. So here we need those constants. Okay, and these are functions that are most important, I think. Attempt to remove, attempt spawn, seem to try to hire a unit or maybe a tower. And we also have can spawn function. Uh, so at first we'll just uh, not care about our money, metal, anything, and just check if we can hire something at some spot. But later, after some hours of coding, you should switch that to under to planning something, to understanding yourself. Okay, I have 15 metal, I can afford five towers of this type, how should I put it? While right now we will just go through some cells, I see, okay, I want to make this place stronger, so I just iterate over cells somewhere around there, and if I can spawn, then I try to do that. Not caring about our money. For our first program will not have will not have any if for money. It will just use this provided function. Uh, we have a function to check if something is there already. Contains stationary unit. Likely, within some time, you will want to yourself understand where your units are not to check maybe at the beginning of a turn you should check if what like what units are destroyed uh, but uh, right now we can just maybe even uh, ignore this function for now because if you want to just make some place stronger because you are attacked then then you don't need this function you will just like, stupidly check if I can spawn a unit there. Find path to edge also seems to uh, hurt for now. Get resource. We don't we don't need to check our money right now. Number affordable, so how many units we can buy. Not needed now. Uh, submit turn we will need. Project future bits. So far we don't care about money. 
uh, suppress warnings, well this is implementation thing, and type cost, we don't care about money. And you might be surprising, you might be surprised by how many times I say we don't need that, but really for first like 10 hours of coding you should use maybe 30% of like possibilities, abilities. Uh, so, okay, we have navigation model, blocked, path length, uh, game state, vertical, horizontal, we don't need that. Okay, so we'll focus on this file. Uh, I've already downloaded, mm -hmm. I've already downloaded uh, what, what we need, so it just some github repo, uh, repository that you should download and what directories you have mm, i can increase a little bit a font here it should help okay uh, so we have directories algos and first it just contains given starter algorithm like this I copied it to directory 1 but I didn't do anything with this directory and we also have docs so docs contains some information how to run stuff This is, I think, empty. Replace. Replace contains. Uh, so we can run some matches locally, and it, it, they will be saved here. If I remember correctly, this is just a match between the given starting algorithm and itself. So it just builds random stuff. And here we can run a new match and when we run a match I think it's uh, it takes some time to compute everything and I guess somewhere here is information who won of course this is not very visible but what we will be doing when after running some algorithm is here we can drag your replay, uh, replay file or click to browse and we can watch replay so this basic give algorithm just creates logo of organizers c1 and i think creates random units i don't know if those towers are also random or not but like it's chaos for sure it isn't optimal to build things randomly you should uh, focus your like strength in one place so likely build a huge wall to block everything and only allow an enemy to pass in one place and uh, one more thing for sure for now is that we will not uh, remember the history of actions except for maybe the previous turn to know where my opponent attacked me where he dealt damage uh, but maybe in the future it will be important maybe you will want to understand that every few turns you are attacked and then algorithm that checks where you were attacked in the previous turn isn't enough or maybe you maybe you want to add an if to see uh, if your opponent always attacks with one type of units or maybe he changes or maybe he always puts a tank uh, before high ranged units and depending on that you might want to change your defenses um, okay so how to start we copy the given algorithm 
to directory let's my director will be just called one and we modify a file in Python Uh, of course, whatever you start, whether it's your job or new competition, new format, first minutes or maybe hours are hard because it's hard to understand what, what function you should use. And only after spending a few hours here, uh, like we will be familiar with everything. So right now, I, I expect to get a lot of errors when I run something because I don't know functions. I don't know what I should use. Okay, uh, most of the algo code you write will be in this file unless you create new modules yourself. Start start by modifying the onTurn function. So we have function on game start. Maybe to initialize a few things, we have on turn, and this should be I guess the main part of our algorithm. Uh, what it does. It creates a new state of game. So we have game state is like new game state. We have an ability to an ability to print something with debug. Performing turn something of your custom algorithm strategy. Uh, so here I wonder whether it was written when we indeed run something. And yeah, here we can see performing turn 14 of your custom algo strategy so apparently this is uh, so for sure it's a good idea to print some information when uh, you want to understand why your algorithm did some steps so this is like this is uh, some log we will use uh, we can uncomment a line with suppress warnings but so far we need all the warnings we have uh, self okay so this constructs something i guess starter strategy no it's a function here and so on turn function uh, runs function that does some logic and after that on game state we run submit turn so I think here we don't have to modify anything and we will just modify the strategy function. And here with comments organizers explained what it does. So it runs uh, three functions. The first one is trying to build towers in C1 logo, logo of organizers. Uh, the second function tries to build extra towers and the third function tries to mm, hire some new units. Okay, so here we have the first function for logo. Let's not care about that. Extra defenses. Maybe we will read that later to see what it does. And now, uh, deploy attackers. Uh, if we have s fewer than 10 bits return, well, it makes sense not to send everything every turn. Uh, but we can comment that and see what happens. Let's also, let's say, not build additional defenses. And now let's make sure that we are able to run this strategy against the initial one to see if everything works uh, okay mm. okay i think so let's kill that and also to make sure we understand when it's our new strategy then we do something very professional we print 40 how is it called exclamation marks uh, so here I think it said that 
two player names are still starter starter algo zip me and this is a name of the default algorithm we expect the name one and there should be some uh, some instructions for that so how do we choose players So we should pass some parameters. They seem to be just directories. Let's see. Uh, and let me check chat because I haven't uh, read in some time. Uh, build a maze. Uh, we can try that. Mm, what is prerequisite? I think I answered that. Prerequisite is uh, knowing some language of programming but Python would be best because we write in Python uh, you can just sign up and start playing yeah uh, so we will also do that for sure but here uh, you can choose some opponent one of bosses let's say Hulk and you can choose to play by hand and then uh, like it doesn't even require knowledge of programming, but I can decide to uh, I can decide to build a wall like this and to build a few expensive towers here and maybe that's it. Some turn and I just play against computer. Uh, so here it was my mistake that I let him go to my corners so now let's fix that and let's also create some uh, offensive units I think this unit will uh, suicide immediately because it has nowhere to go let's see yeah so my strategy apparently isn't very good because I'm losing but this is how you experiment so we will get back to this playing by hand later just to experiment a little bit but now let's uh, focus on running anything uh, okay. No, oh, le let's uh, let me read the rest. Mm. What is the story behind username? asks Jatin. By the way, should I read your handle, Jatin or Jatin? Sharma. Uh, it Erichta is a bunch of random letters that I chose like 15 years ago or something. It's very good to have a nickname that doesn't mean anything because it's free uh, like it's not taken anywhere uh, so it doesn't mean anything but if i remember correctly the same with one r so richter is some witch i think but i already i only learned about it years after i started using this handle uh, why don't I use Vim? Uh, why should I? Maybe ask this question. Uh, need to give both names? Yeah, I will in a moment try to run it. Uh, <laughs> hi, Carl. Uh, okay, so maybe something like this will work. How is it called? Starter algorithm. I think I promised Karol Kashuba some money if he joins here and run and writes something stupid. Uh, okay, it wasn't it wasn't good. Maybe I should give directories. Uh, 
maybe this failed to load maybe full directory not just relative one if someone here is from like someone here is already participating then uh, you can help me and not make me waste an extra minute uh, it worked so apparently we need uh, it crashes uh, let's try with that starter algo So the question is whether it does the same as just running run match. I think so. Here it was like what 19 turns? Yeah, 19. And it's the same here. Okay, so but apparently when I run it against my algorithm, it crashes. Return uh, inconsistent use of tabs and spaces in indentation. Uh, hooray! So I use tabulators usually, and now it doesn't allow me. Yeah, everything else is with spaces. Uh, Okay, four spaces, apply, it still taps, uh, it's project apply default indentation, yeah it works, okay what else did I already change? I changed here, but I didn't add uh, tabulators. I changed this. Mm, okay, so maybe it will be okay now. You need to run it from the parent directory of scripts. Okay, I will try that. So something like this, I guess. Yeah, and now let's try without uh, without the whole directories thing. No. Okay. It works. Uh, so let's create a script for that. So now we can just use s.sh, I can rename that, and give two names of algorithms, what should be easier. Uh, would pair your algorithm against itself? Yeah, like just let's see, let's see first how, t how it does against starter algor. Uh, so let's rename starter algo to starter and let's play replay 
here. Does someone know if it's possible to see a replay uh, offline on my own computer? So I guess it will be the last replay. And here we expect uh, we expect one player to be very stupid and not to build anything extra. Let's increase the speed a little bit. Mm, four times. I think both. So both players don't uh, don't build anything. Oh, okay. I understand. Uh, here I, it should be two. And yeah, now names are one and starter. Previously, I always ran the first one against it, so. Uh, Uh, I don't know if... Oh, what a name. Gottkönig Adonis. Maybe you meant that? I'm not sure. Uh, use Atom or VS Code, it will be easy. Uh, so these are IDs or what? Uh, Steven told me what was the mistakes. Uh, yeah, like I noticed myself, but thank you. I should... Uh, I should look more often at the chat. There is no offline engine to watch replays, you can just look at the replay files, they are easy to read. Okay, thank you. Uh, so... So the last one is what? Is this one, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, you are perfectly right. So yeah, here we here we see that the first program does something stupid. Uh, uh, Steven, check your script. Uh, yeah, I I guess I made that correction now. Uh, Once you get started, just zip and upload algo and then run against other algos or playtest manually. Uh, so do you mean that we can, when uploaded, our algorithm when uploaded, can we run it against other people in the leaderboard and see the replays? Or is it impossible? Uh, actually, you are supposed to get a visual representation in your console. You mean by printing this replay file? Uh, both are EDs, they handle projects easily. Uh, well, I don't have a big project here and for that the genie is awesome. Uh, you, your console output should not look like this or look like this. Well, I have this output. Maybe it's because of system, I don't know basically writes down almost line by line. This is what I meant. Uh, well, I understand that this makes some sense. Uh, just I prefer the visual version of replay. Uh, just the smallest provided. Okay, okay. Thank you, CWT. So we'll do that later. Uh, you can see the replays with other people but cannot specify who you play with. Okay, makes sense. It will automatically match you against other algos that are uploaded and you will be able to watch replace what you can choose. Okay, thank you guys. And that will be for sure useful later. Uh, one more thing is that we will need for sure is some file for notes. Uh, so there are a lot of ideas uh, that a lot of things we can do. And when we have, usually when I participate in anything, I just write down stuff on paper. So here it will be better to, to just put notes here. And let's say from this moment, uh, when I have some new idea, I will put it here. It will be easier for me to remember. And also 
easier, easier for you to see and to understand what possibilities we have here. Uh, because, well, you maybe skipped some part. Uh, so later I will put more stuff here. And uh, yeah, so we let's watch a new replay. Uh, play, play. So this is a new thing. Mm. Let it run. Uh, one more thing about rows is that if there are 100 turns, they all pass and there is no winner. So then, first, uh, what is took into consideration is the number of the like health bar, and the second thing is who took more time. So you can see, I think, here in details your. Uh, time computing last turn. So at the end what also matters in case of a tie is total time you took, your program took, uh, but we shouldn't care about it now and maybe even we should never care about it. Uh, like we should see once we have a good algorithm and yeah th this is I think that should be put into notes. Uh, uh, so far, don't care about training. So this is something that once we have very advanced algorithm, then maybe we should care about running time, because maybe from time to time we will get a tie. But uh, it is imp important for the first like 50 hours of coding, I think. Uh, so yeah, here we see that blue player indeed is stupid, uh, because. He doesn't put extra defenses, and I think while pink waits a little bit uh, in order to put new units, blue one puts new units every turn. So everything is as we expected. And now let's do something uh, smarter, maybe. So what we can do? Well, we already said that it might make sense to spawn all the units in one place. So let's try that for, uh, first. Uh, here we can also keep track of what what we did, what we do, what we modify. Uh, spawn units in one place. Uh, okay. Let's we can still not build additional defenses. Okay, we have a function deploy attackers. Let's indeed uh, not do anything if the num the money is smaller than ten. So let's gather a bit of money and then attack. Uh, and what happens here? Here, if we can spawn at some particular location, then we do that. Uh, here also, so when in can spawn, we can give an additional parameter for the number. Of units. Uh, the location we used above to spawn information units may become blocked by our own firewalls. We'll leave it to you to fix that issue yourself. Okay, so note for the future uh, check if your units are blocked. Maybe by your by towers. Uh, lastly, let's send our scramblers, so tanks, to help destroy enemy information units. A complex algo would predict where the enemy is going to send units and develop its strategy around that. But this algo is simple, so let's just send out scramblers in random locations and hope for the best. Uh, so here I think we see generating a random uh, random location. Mm -hmm. Okay, what we should do. So let's use this part to maybe put all the units here. 
So I think it's stupid to put different units from different locations. And here, what we do, while Gamestead get resources, well, it says while we have enough money to hire a tank, and we have at least one possible location to do that. Uh, we choose a random location and we try to spawn there. Uh, okay, so maybe here. So 10 times, I don't know, let's repeat. Let's recruit a tank here and also a ping and how the destroyer I don't remember EMP uh, so and let's I think for that we will need more money so let's gather I don't know 13 at least now what I expect is that once I have that 13 of money here I commented everything here I try to generate a random place in my uh, like my border and here I will try like 10 times repeat spawn uh, a tank, a fast unit and EMP and I expect just to create a bunch of units in one place and I think after this I should have zero money I would expect so so let's print that to debug output uh, also, let's see if my beautiful uh, annotation of algorithm works. Yeah, we have a bunch of explanation marks. Uh, so let's remove that. And we use that line to here print something. And what I expect is that after this 10 times repeat something I think I should have close to zero money so um, format of game state turn number what I need is let's see it's slightly it's here game state get resources so I said a lot of times that we will not uh, need like we will not care about money and here I just want to print something to see whether I'm right about uh, what I said. So here we expect now money is something and I expect this to be close to zero because uh, I expect this to be smaller than one because 10 times we repeat hiring everything including something that uh, costs one unit, uh, like one unit of money. Uh, let's run that. Okay. And watch your play. So pink algorithm is still the, the initial one. And here we see that once our new algorithm gathered enough money, it hired a bunch of stuff apparently here. And since pinks are faster, they get ahead. And in this place, I would expect three uh, high-ranged units and three tanks. Let's see how it goes. Uh, well, health bars suggest that our blue algorithm is worse. And, but it's close. It isn't like surprising a lot, uh, 
Uh, but well, what's important is that we still have rem we s removed the part about building random defenses. And I think if we get that back, maybe we are able to win. Uh, where was it? We had some return here. And now maybe we are able to beat the starter algorithm. Uh, so, I would expect a big part of workflow here to be, uh, like one thing, thinking about possible approaches, so watching videos, uh, watching videos, analyzing better algorithms, thinking how we can counter something, and a big part will be trying to implement a new feature, but doing as small steps as possible and seeing here in the replays whether it works as we intend it to be. Mm. So uh, I don't know how building random towers work, but here for some reason a lot of them is support towers and Maybe it isn't a good idea, especially at the beginning, to build support towers uh, because what is important is to defend against your opponent's units too. So we should maybe just build random towers. Uh, so here we lost this time by far because it's 18 to 0 and I wonder whether this is some mistake of ours because we only added uh, building towers and we lost like we we previously we were close to winning it was like quite even here we lost by far uh, so when we see situations like this it's good to analyze whether we indeed spent all the money and things like that also, let's see, our information money is something. Uh, what we see here, no money is, and it doesn't print anything. Maybe I should point a new line or something. Uh, or maybe just I don't know how to use Python. Uh, why is SA here starting algorithm player? Okay. Okay, I think I removed uh, brackets. So something like this should display the, the amount of money. Uh, in the game, can we get where our opponents fire at? Uh, yes, I'm sure about that. So basically, here, what we see here is just some visualization, but our program should, I think, access everything that we see here. Uh, because, well, this is game of not humans, but programs. So, for sure. Uh, we get some warnings. Uh, you cannot spawn something there. Location is blocked, invalid, or you don't have enough resources. Uh, well, it makes sense because this time we didn't check if we can spawn before spawning. Uh, but I think what we can do is do if game state can spawn, then the same thing. Uh, scrambler deploy location. Uh, then we should get no more warnings. Uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm not very familiar with Python, so instead of some smart loops, I will do a lot of copy pasting because I'm not sure how to do some stuff. Uh, but now this should get rid of warnings. Like if you can get rid of warnings, it's okay, a nice thing to do. Uh, Let's see, yeah, we, we got rid of those. 
okay, and where is that money is? Money is. Hmm. I should grab that, but it isn't saved to a file. Well, we can do this. Money is zero, zero. Money is zero, five. So spending is as we expected. Uh, okay, now either it's a random thing that we lost here by far, or we already made a mistake. I think here it's just a random thing, and these algos are very random, and it's very important where we spawn something. Especially here, where if we spawn at one thing, one location, uh, then we like. I think it's more dangerous that this location is very bad, because uh, like most of sometimes we will go through the enemy main defenses, and sometimes if we spread out our units, sometimes we will just go through without any fighting. I would say. Uh, so, what what possible fixes we can do? Uh, well, we can just deploy one type of unit. Maybe just let's uh, create pinks. Uh, okay. Let's see what happens. Also, it would be nice to be able to read what happens here. Player one wins. Oh, we win. We won very quickly. Maybe something went wrong. Something crashed. Or just it's an amazing strategy. Where is play button? Uh, the website sometimes isn't very intuitive, but it isn't that bad. Uh, okay, so here, since we only hire pings, those fast, quick units, at some moment I expect just a lot of pings go through. Yeah, we, we hired 13. And here we were lucky that we didn't go through main enemy defenses. And we immediately took 13 of his health. And apparently in a moment we'll get a new turn like this. Yeah, again, 13 pings and in a moment it should be a win. Yeah, now 14. Uh, also, when you see things that you didn't expect, for example, now suddenly it was 14 instead of 13, you shouldn't think whether you understand that. Here, yeah, we should understand that because uh, some, with time more and more money you get every turn, and it's not necessarily integer, let's say, for some, at some moment, maybe. If we here have, like at some moment, where is it? Uh, okay, so when we have 13 units, uh, sorry, 13 money and we spend everything on pinks, we have zero. But maybe then we will go from something to 13.5 or maybe just to 14. And then this will trigger too, like uh, our function will run and we will suddenly hire 14. Just a lesson is try to understand, uh, try to think whether you understand what happens. And okay, now it would be good to improve our defenses. And so let's see ideas. Uh, improve defenses and an idea for later put a tank before uh, EMPs. So this is something some people at the top I think do and we must like learn how to do that with our program uh, but first like more basic thing will be just to work on our defenses uh, okay so uh, for some time it's I think okay to use just uh, just what just the main towers those that deal damage so let's focus on them uh, also, let's move uh, 
let's move to Algard named two. Of course, perfectly, I should use some, uh, I don't know, Git or some other control system version. No, wrong words. Uh, but uh, so far, I'm only doing simple things. So I don't have to bother about that. Uh, OK, so here we make C1 logger. I think uh, we will completely abandon that. Well, maybe. For starters, we should try to build just something smarter. Uh, so, when we play by hand, coordinates are displayed. Uh, so, let's use that. And let's try to build a line of towers. Yeah, so. Here we can see that coordinates are displayed like 6, 12 and so on. So let's just from 1, 12 to 26, 12, let's try to build towers. Uh, so here for in range 127, if game state can spawn uh, it's, I think, destructor. And location is I12. Game state attempt spawn. Okay, and so far, we removed the rest of this, and let's run it. So now we run our previous algo dice called one against our new two, uh, and it's it's ended very fast. Who won? I think it's written somewhere here. Player 2 wins, so our new strategy one. And once again, let's see a replay to see if everything happens as we expect it to be. And we'll just make a whole bunch of iterations of this improvement and some change. So, yeah, it did what we wanted it to do. Uh, it builds a bunch of uh, a bunch of towers in one line. Uh, I think it's good to create a small hole in the middle, not to make both units uh, suicide all the time and destroy towers, because so far we don't know how to handle that efficiently. Uh, so here I would say if i is different than 13, something in the middle, Uh, also, if that is already built, then we can build the next row of that. Why not? So that I was in fact X. And so it was for, for Y equal to 12. And let's iterate for y in... Mm, can I write that in Python? I don't know. Uh, 12 and 11. Uh, OK. So here for y equal to 11, I think we'll get out of boundaries. And I don't know if it leads to, uh, to some error. Let's see. Player one wins. Uh, okay, so I can do that in Python. Well, what about the list? Yeah, it worked. Player two wins. And let's run that. Uh, 
So we, we got a small hole here. And uh, it would be good now to run it against something that is not very stupid. So let's submit it and run against those bosses, those algos from a list that we can choose from. Uh, so let's zip okay. My algos. I haven't submitted anything so far. Uh, so let's see if I can do that. Compiling. Uh, okay, it compiles. Mm. I think ga I think game states returns the state of the map with information about both players. Yes, yeah, so we can get current state. We will only know previous turn firewall locations. Uh, yeah, so you can't access, you, you don't know what your opponent builds right now, but you know what was the end state in the previous turn. And if you remember the history, you also know what changes. So where are some, uh, some, some damage where happened. Uh, what what I don't know is whether we can see a history of like when units were went through a grid I don't know if, if we can see a history what went where uh, but like it's a thing for the future so here can we track units paths uh, okay Try to beat B8 U U checkpoint. I will. Okay. Uh, okay. So we can run play my algos and checkpoint. Initiate. I seem to be lucky that I started to build from uh, from my left side. Uh, okay, now they are now they are enhanced with support towers. I think it's a mistake that those support towers start where spawned units start. They should be like later, like they should enhance the, them later. Uh, also, I think it's another mistake here that uh, by ping that those pings aren't in the same place. I think it's only better to put them in one place. So I seem to be winning so far, but later in game, because I don't use support towers, I think my Albert will suck. But ping has only free health right now, so. I should win. Let's see. Yay! Okay. And just to not to win all the time, let's play against that champion bot. So I didn't see it in action so far.
I think again I'm lucky because of how the opponent starts. If someone started from here and put his units this way, I could lose a lot of health in the first round. Okay, so... Uh, putting a lot of pings at the beginning seemed to be a good strategy uh, because it takes some health by your opponent. It's hard to defend against that uh, early. Uh, and here we see a, a disaster because his unit outranges his units outrange my towers. So when his unit goes this way, uh, he can hit everything in my line of towers. Uh, while I can't hit him. So I had some, let's say, health advantage at the very beginning and now I suck. Uh, okay, so what are important things to do? Here we can see that I don't cover, like, I don't cover everything because I leave some corner here. So I think to do is uh, uh, defend corners. Uh, okay, what else? Well, we see that this is apparently a good algorithm. We should try to do what he does. He puts uh, walls behind, uh, like in front of his expensive towers. So, uh, put walls not behind, in front. Uh, basically, when you lose with some other algorithm, you should learn from him. And uh, use support towers. This is this will be something for later. And another thing to do: use not pink uh, attackers. Of course, right now we still use only those uh, chip units what is stupid for sure we must utilize some, somehow other units so unfortunately we lost what might suggest that our algorithm is not yet optimal and uh, okay now what we will do well it's easy to implement that so let's try that also, I wonder how long it takes here to to update my uh, ELO. Okay, some matches already happened. You should, I think, uh, m care the most about lost matches. So, if we see here a bunch of replays, you will not learn much from those that you won. Likely they are against someone who, who is weak. Uh, well, here uh, we won against someone with ELO 45, so uh, it isn't a surprise. Apparently this is some something very bad, which we just can see uh, it's the starting algo. Uh, okay, and for example here we have someone with quite high ELO, so let's see we can see how uh, how complicated it is to get this low rating. Okay, so he puts pinks and <coughs> he does this uh, like line of walls and behind that like uh, yeah behind that line of towers okay I think the biggest priority will be to put cheap walls in front of our towers because right now uh, it's very expensive for us to replenish these losses so let's do that Um, 
So let's move from instead of building one line and then the next line, let's first iterate over x and what we do. If x is 13, then continue. We don't let's say we want to leave that one place. Uh, because it doesn't hurt, I think we can put some bigger range here, just to make sure we cover everything, no matter what level we are on. And now, uh, if we can spawn, uh, let's say the structure is more important, at x11, then do that. And now the same thing with pink. Just uh, not pink. Sorry. Uh, what is the name of the most basic? Uh, where is it? I need documents. Here they are. Informations in snow. Uh, of course, with time. You start remembering everything filter. Uh, but it might be hard at first. So 12 will be line that is further. Uh, I should have created a new directory for that. Uh, but that, that's fine. You can track the target of a unit based on the current map and predict the path. Uh, check advanced game state by get target. Returns target of given unit based on current map of the game board. Okay, thank you. Uh, so eventually we will do that. Uh, easy win. Can we use any library, etc.? Does it matches with everyone to create the yellow? Uh, I think, and no, uh, EMP is that high range unit. Uh, your algo will not be matched against any, any uh, like all the other algorithms, just against a few. Uh, let's see. Let's see by by the way how our algorithm does. Where is play? So play actually is hidden when we are not full size. Uh, my algos, my algos here. So I, our ELO is still slightly below the initial one. And like I'm not surprised. This is what I didn't expect to go up in any leaderboard. Uh, okay, let's let's watch a replay now. So yeah, uh, indeed we create both uh, we create both walls and the towers to destroy stuff mm, I don't like the fact that we do it from left to right or something like that so let's create some random order of that maybe we could create like at every third place at first, uh, yeah, we can do that. So, so let RAM be reminder modulo three that we want, and now uh, if X 
module of three is different than RAM, continue. So we first will try to do something for uh, those columns where X modulo 3 is RAM. So like every third spot should be taken. Maybe every fourth would be better. Uh, okay. And of course, it's hard to say what is the best to choose some random order or every third, fourth, something like that. Uh, so uh, right now, just we should choose any reasonable value, and with time we can test stuff some more. So we can like one thing is that we can upload an algorithm and wait for Elo to. Mm, like wait for like 100 matches to play and then we will get a feeling how good it is and then try a different one. It isn't a good idea to just change one value and see if we win against our old version. This is too random. Uh, okay, so we won against the stupid algorithm. Uh, but uh, I'm I'm happy about this like new new format because now we aren't that in, not we aren't that dependent on whether our opponent starts by attacking left or right. Uh, some other thing that I wonder is if it's good that it starts by batches of two because first we build every fourth column and then every fourth column starting from position like two. Uh, so maybe, just maybe it's better to here do uh, them in order like this. Uh, let's see a difference. Uh, I'm not sure about that, but right now it won't be batches of two, instead it will be spread out more evenly. So yeah, now you don't see those neighboring uh, pairs. Uh, and it's, it's very hard to say what is better, and let's leave this one. So for, for now it's just about intuition, what can be better or not. Okay, once, once we have this defense, either, like for sure putting random things here is stupid. So instead of that, just let's in reinforce this area or maybe let's use support towers uh, so let's move to let's say algorithm 3 we'll completely remove that part about building extra defenses random one of of course, maybe it was something reasonable, so it would be better to read it and then remove it. Uh, but, uh, so, well, you can do that later. Uh, okay, so we still have a function build C1 logo. It isn't already that. This should be build two lines. Uh, okay. Uh, where is the main algo here? So first we build two lines, then build, let's say, support towers. And then deploy attackers. Uh, Build two lines, build support, so deploy attackers. Okay, and now let's focus on build support. Uh, 
Okay. So let's move to playing by hand. Okay, we are here. Uh, we basically we built everything here except for this one column. We put the structures behind. Uh, so I think the most reasonable thing here is to just put uh, put support here. So maybe something like this will be okay. So let's start by creating support in column uh, 12 and 14 in uh, rows 10, 9 and so on. So this two okay for row in the range so 10 9 and so on to let's say we we'll limit that by i don't know this row for column in a list of two columns so 12 and 14 if game state can spawn now how is it called i think encryptor uh, call row game state attempt spawn okay Let's hope it doesn't crash. Okay. Player two one, and this time the game was slightly longer. Uh, well, because now we run two quite reasonable algos against each other. And now we see a difference that uh, blue still follows the random defense thing, while pink or red now has some support. And score shows that pink is much better. Uh, an important thing here is that still we don't protect corners, so you can notice that uh, blue doesn't try to go here with, uh, by this corridor. Instead, he goes towards the like closest mm, uh, free cell, closest achievable cell on opponent's edge. Uh, so we see that he goes along this uh, side. Okay, we can, let's see if our Elo Hill is updated, it isn't, it's still only 6 matches. P I expected, I expected more matches to be here, uh, but we can upload a new algo, so let's just do that. But from now, I think I can give some names to my algos. So that free will be free support. So this is when we started using support. Uh, and we let's zip that. And now let's start using different units. So instead of just putting pings everywhere, just let's try with uh, 
high range units and see what happens. Uh, so let's copy free support to for EMP. And now instead of pings, let's just try EMP. Of course, things are still a, like random a lot. Uh, something crashed, I think. Uh, things are still random a lot because we don't care what our opponent does and still we choose a random place in our edge what can affect the game it was stuck I don't know if maybe it's mm -hmm. so there is some some crash let's see if we can write free run free support against free support. We can, and whoever we can run for EMP against itself. So at turn four, something bad happens. Maybe trans forever. Uh, let's think. If I change here EMP back to pink, does it work now? It does. Okay, we had, I see a mistake, I think. Here we had an infinite while loop. Well, we can afford some unit, and that unit was uh, Scrambler. So here it should be, of course, EMP, and it should work things for now, but it's generally a stupid if, because we can change something here and it will stop working again uh, so let's just try to do mm. well I think we can just write if plan of deploy locations so this other part of if and let's not care about money at this place because why would we Our new algorithm has ELO over 1500, but it only played one match, unfortunately. Uh, okay, let's watch. Well, let's run for EMP against uh, our version with pinks to see what happens. And remember that it isn't that important which one of the two uh, wins. What is important, how would they uh, do against some other random good algorithm? So right now both would be quite bad. And we don't do that to see which of the two is better. We do. We see this replays to see if everything as we expect. And also to get some more intuition to understand what is better to use. But it isn't that important who will win here. It's more what will happen. Since we still leave those unattended corners, maybe it's a good idea to just move our defenses one line up 
uh, make them a bit wider but then corners will be covered uh, but thing here is that pink is able to get some scores because it, he also enforces pinks so they have some strength and when they get they are able to get here and do damage so while blue is good at destroying some towers uh, blue will still lose I think so um, let's make a fix when we build here when we build the two lines of defenses instead of 11 and 12 let's do that at lines 12 and 13 and that's it here we already increased range a little bit uh, so it should be fine mm -hmm. we can also try to experiment with this so how often we send wave so let's put an extra think uh, like an extra note about what to think uh, how often to send waves of course the longer we wait the more we lose because we every turn we lose one third of our bits uh, Okay, uh, and what else? Well, we can just try that. I think we have the longest game so far, because it's up to round 44. Uh, yeah. I wonder whether with better Algos we will end quicker or or later, or maybe we'll play the whole 100 turns sometimes. So here the change is that uh, we put blue puts his line a bit closer to opponents, and still blue uses EMPs instead of pinks. Okay, so if uh, because right now we pr kind of protected corners, still an enemy can spawn here his units and immediately attack our defenses here. We kind of know that most of enemy units will go through this area. So I think we can put more uh, destructors here and okay and the next thing we can do i think it should be quite easy is to deal with put a tank before emps uh, okay so improving defenses we do all the time so let's move that to the end uh, we did that the support towers we already did too Uh, defend corners. Well, it's a harder topic to do. Just not pink units. Uh, we kind of doing it, so it isn't high priority. Uh, check if units are blocked, maybe by our own towers. It's later. Uh, think how often to send waves later. So put a tank before EMPs, and but first let's add an extra tower here and here to fight with enemy units because. Now we know that every time enemy units will go through this place. Like it, it, it isn't sure because maybe he will first destroy some other place in our defenses. But for sure we want this place to be strong. Especially if enemy is smart and also uses support towers because then his uh, units will be strong enough to go through. Uh, what about the corners it will fail out? Yeah, uh, I address that in some way, but it's still quite hard. By the way, edit configs JSON and change print map string to true, then you have a much better output in console. 
Okay, thank you. We'll do that. Uh, well, I can do that now. Thank you a lot, God Kynik, and sorry for slaughtering your name. Print X strings, hit strings. Okay, so there is a bunch of possible extra information to be printed. I think it should be most uh, it should be most useful when we debug uh, because then we will see exactly what happened uh, operation after operation. Okay, yeah, it's. It shows something. Uh, one must get used to this, but at least we see some map. I think what would be. Uh, let me just try out one thing. Uh, to make this map easier to read, let's use sleep. Time sleep one. Uh, on turn, on turn. Let's sleep for two hundred milliseconds, and now I expect this map to be easier to read because we wait a little bit. Yeah, n now I kind of am able to see what happens. So let's try for some time with that, uh, but maybe later we will turn it off. So another note, uh, maybe turn off uh, the map, the back map off. Uh, okay, so thank you again. Uh, can we control the ping or EMP? No, we can't. There is some pre-designed uh, algorithm they follow, and we must use that somehow to our advantage. In particular, we can check because we are given those uh, like the description of that algorithm. We can exactly know when, where our unit will go, assuming that we know what our opponent will build in his turn, and we don't know that. Also. When we destroy some towers, then maybe some units will change their destinations because they will see a shorter path. Uh, you can either use the game loop to get the path or analyze action phase frames yourself. Yeah, that's right. Uh, it's okay, your pronunciation is actually quite good. Uh, I'm very happy about it. Uh, okay, so maybe that we will do later. Uh, so, first thing is enforcing this place. Uh, okay, see so here. Uh, this is 12, 11, and 14, 11. Uh, so, when we build two lines, after that, so for x 12 and 14. If game state can spawn destructor eleven state spawn atom spawn. Uh, on the other hand, it's important to understand that places like this are extremely valuable uh, because both when we put a destructor here or a support tower. It does a lot of things. When, for example, this support tower, when it um, enhances our unit, still our unit will take some time to go here. So maybe it's better to put support towers here. So uh, another thing to do, quite easy, put support towers closer to the uh, how to call it to this like passage corridor instead of here it's better to post, put put to put such a support tower here it will still reach our units but it will be later so 
they will be stronger when fighting against opponents. Uh, okay, now uh, here the structure. Okay, so uh, we here we have two more units. Run, let's run that. So previously here we had a empty spot. And right now, let's see. Mm. So four was player one, and he lost. Player two wins. So EMP lost. Also, they lost here. Um, no. They didn't. Did we just mess up something? What if we go back from here? I expect player one to win because this is our like this newer algo. Uh, yeah, here player one wins. I wonder whether it's about this uh, new two new towers or whether it's just bad luck. So let's keep that and watch a replay. And let's see if our if we have new matches here. Still only one match and six matches here. I wonder what is like how they run new matches and why right now our new algor algorithm only has one match. Doesn't seem right. Okay, let's run a replay. Well, I think in the last moment I scrolled with mouse and it changed. See, so I hope to see. I wa I w expected to see blue player to win. Let's make it faster. Okay, he does exactly what we expected, I think. He lost a bit of health this round. Well, just this defense isn't enough against 13 pinks going through with some support from towers. So we must have stronger defenses, that's that. Okay, one more thing is that maybe we should remove these towers. Because, at least right now, they don't do anything. Like, uh, Of course, some opponent can go through here or spawn here. But maybe it's a good idea to remove maybe some of them to get back some money. Or maybe not create them at all in the first place. Uh, so an extra node. Maybe remove or not create at all. Uh, destructors on site. Okay. Because right now everything happens here, basically. Uh, Okay, so what we do now? Put a tank before EMPs. No, okay, this is something we can implement. At the moment, it takes about two days to get your algo to the first page of the leaderboard if it is good enough, which means that there are not many matches being played. Uh, it's a pity. Also, I believe that strong algos are to come because currently, even the top algos are not that great. 
Mm. Yeah, it, it makes sense that uh, for sure top algos will get stronger and stronger. Uh, but I would say that uh, in this contest people will not like hide with their submissions too much because they also want to test their solutions. Uh, in some competitions like this, uh, people submit like last hour, even if they had a strong algo before that, just because they don't want to reveal their uh, like their tricks. Uh, so, yeah, I think it's quite easy to copy what oh, sorry to copy what we see so far, what we saw so far, uh, like on Twitch or something. Those algorithms, maybe it's hard to understand how smart they are, but I think right now it's enough to be in the top. To be in the top, it's enough to just do what we do now, what is trying to build some some special pattern and not being like not adjust to what your opponent does, but uh, it's for sure not enough for top one. It's not enough to win. Okay, uh, let's uh, let's try to do this trick. Uh, so I think for that we can play by hand against some stupid algo. Starter algo. Okay. Uh, by hand, initiate. Okay, so what we want to achieve? We here we know that oh, I keep mis uh, messing up between pink and filter because they are kind of similar. Uh, maybe I don't want to put so many of them, so let's do it here. We have something like this just built above that with a hole in the middle. Here, uh, well, we have some defenses here. What we want to do is uh, so if we spawn a few units, including some tanks and some ranged units, at one place, we know that uh, from docs that towers first prioritize. Sorry, I can't pronounce this word. Pri priority, prioritize. <laughs> So they first try to hit uh, a unit with lower hit points, lower health. So it will be tank will be last to be hit. So it's stupid. Uh, it must be one u one place ahead, one uh, like cell ahead. And how to do that? Well, unit will for sure go in this direction, and from every place here, it's the same like length, the same distance to this place. Uh, except for maybe here, so one idea is to put a tank here and punk, put a ranged unit here and now I think a tank will go just before ranged unit, well I would prefer it to be one place before not two, right now it's like two moves before. Mm. So we can also force something with with walls here. For example, if we put a wall here and then we do something like this, then they will go I think together, so it's not okay for us. Yeah. So it's if it's possible to put something one so ahead. Okay, I can prove it's impossible. No, it's possible here. I wanted to say it's impossible because the parity of every cell is the same. If something is here and something is here at the same time and it has the same speed, then after one frame, well, after two, because after some number of frames, they will be in this or this cell and so on. Like you can imagine a chessboard, then at every moment, 
all units of the same like type will be on the same color but here we can see that this is one spot uh, like behind this so I think we should put a wall here now uh, tank here range unit here and now it should be just one place ahead yeah awesome this is what we want uh, there is an extra issue here that because they are on different edges of ours uh, when after getting through our line they will start moving in different directions I didn't want that uh, so it's a thing to fix in the future I think it's either that or we will put them on the same side and one will be two cells behind the other but so uh, let's put uh, some information for later to remember if they if they are on the same side tank must be two sub steps ahead otherwise mm, they will move in different otherwise so if on different sides they will move to different directions right. uh, but let's start with this so I think our line of support must be slightly uh, shorter uh, so let's copy this was for EMP to 5 uh, let's say that it will be with tank our line of support should be slightly shorter here we have up to 6 and so up to this place from this place it's okay we can even make it a bit longer mm. and deploy attackers okay we want to build this cell so 13 and 1 uh, build two lines so we can do that here I think uh, and extra tank EMP car. If game state can spawn uh, thirteen one, so this is filter thirteen one. Then do that. Okay, and now when we deploy attackers instead of random, we will always uh, spawn them here. So let 14.0 contain a single tank or maybe multiple ones. Uh, sorry, what is it? 14.0? Uh, so now I don't care about friendly edges because I assume that I don't build anything else here so I'll just force what I what I hire so if I have 13 money I expect that I will be able to just hire a unit here uh, so game state mm, uh, attempt spawn uh, scrambler 14.0, a single scram scrambler, and now while we can spawn uh, EMP here, we do that, okay, and return, we don't care about what happens later, we remove that. 
Uh, and now let's put five tank against four. Again, a similar infinite loop thing. So while we can spawn, okay, not can spawn, attempt spawn here. You can go to the farm and search for leaderboard matches. Okay, I will do that. We have more than 50 turns. So that's all. Okay, because now we don't fight against other uh, player with, with pinks. We play against a very similar algorithm. Uh, okay, uh, play, watch replay. Okay, let's speed up. Uh, yes, here so far we see that it's very stupid that they go in two very different directions but it should be fixed once uh, those corridors are created so let's scroll a little bit okay now there is another issue I play against a different algorithm that also uh, that also builds up to the border and right now nobody is able to nobody is able to get through anything because there is no passage and because i don't know how to deal with that exactly i will put back my two lines uh, so here uh, y equal to again 11 and 12 uh, what was this? This was an extra distractor, so 10-10. Ten, ten. Uh, okay. By the way, it wasn't a good a choice to put all the numbers here by, by hand. So let's... I should create some constant, but like maybe later I will refine my program a little bit just here it's bad that i had to change like six places okay and but still we want to protect corners so let's just put a filter here and here it's 0 13 and 27 uh, build, build something in corners for x in 0 27 if game state um, of course the cheapest possible thing for now uh, what is y uh, 13 by the way it would be okay to just print uh, like everywhere used attempt spawn instead of can spawn and to generate a lot of warnings because here it doesn't look like the best possible like, approach it's stupid that I write the same thing twice and later it's worse when I want to change something uh, I just don't want a lot of warnings to pop out but maybe later I will skip all of this and just attempt spawn uh, and get some warnings but eventually we should understand the map better and plan more plan more than one uh, tower but we will think about that later uh, okay let's try now I think now we pushed back those two lines so there will be some place in between so we should get what we expect 
but of course uh, I only test my algo against a similar algo that also moves through the middle while some opponents might do a completely different thing okay we got to turn 75 uh, it's a new record uh, play speed it up a bit and okay so now mm -hmm. now let's see if the blue player indeed hired a f an extra thing here and indeed a tank is before uh, those EMPs on the other hand apparently at the beginning, Pink was more lucky and uh, he has some advantage in terms of build towers. Well, maybe he didn't get lucky, he, it's because of his like defenses. Uh, mm -hmm. I want to see now whether Pink and Blue do a similar amount of damage. Important thing here is that so there is a huge difference now between blue and pink. That blue uses a tank before his EMPs. Uh, maybe if we have so much support here, then this tank isn't necessary. Maybe we shouldn't use that. Uh, it, it's hard to understand, like to decide if it's a good idea. Because with so much support towers, uh, even our EMP that deals damage with high range, uh, it, it has a lot of health. So for sure a tank is good if if we fight against enemy units because it does a whole lot of damage to enemy units and if he gets in range then it's, it's powerful on the other hand a single tank uh, is not enough i think to get in range of those five emps because those five emps has have higher range and they will first hit him and I think they will be they will manage to kill him. So if I want tanks that fight against enemy EMPs, maybe I should put more than one tank. Let's try that. Uh, so build two lines, deploy attackers. This time I think we will need 14 money because I want to still have 4 EMPs, so it's 12, and 2 tanks. Mm. Okay. So here I think the third argument was the number, so let's create 2 tanks this time. Let's see. Of course, another difference between the two algorithms now is that blue is more like put behind and always creates uh, units here while sometimes pink you can notice that creates something here or here and then those EMPs are able to hit my defenses in corners so without so right now from time to time pink managed manages to destroy something here and I must rebuild that as blue what is a bad thing of course And right now, Pink already has big advantage because of those support towers. His units now are very strong when they uh, come to my defense. Okay, let's see a new reply file. Uh, by the way, po, 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 po. okay. So here, eventually, Pink wins thanks to uh, thanks to 
being stronger in the middle because I guess he lost fewer things uh, he lost less in the beginning so he managed to put more support towers and it how is it called uh, like slow rolled from that uh, okay and right now his units are powerful and he doesn't really need a tank okay let's see with let's see with two tanks uh, so again pink <laughs> I wonder whether pink for some reason gets advantage at the beginning so one turn earlier apparently he sends the first wave of his units oh also at the beginning we st at the beginning we shouldn't do something like this when we uh, don't have that corridor Uh, because they go in different directions so we should put a tank first only if we already have a corridor so let's for the first time try to when recruiting a unit let's try to understand something in the map and how to do that mm. So let's iterate over this line, or maybe this line, I don't know, 12. Uh, for x in range, so from 1 to 26, if something, then gaps plus equals 1, count gaps. Here I need something from documentation. It will be whether I have a tower there. And now, well, uh, let's put that later. Because still we want to not do anything if we don't have enough money. And now, if count gaps is one, then everything goes in the same direction so then we can hire a tank and now I need something from documentation we'll uh, check that in a moment uh, could you please click on the TLS button of your algo during the replay I'm just interested to see the computing time sure I will do that in a moment at the end of it it shows the total time amazed by how well you already understand the game's behavior well I've spent more than like well, maybe half an hour before this and also I've participated in I don't know 15 competitions like this so I have some intuition I think uh, of what should be done uh, uh, what, so here we have 5 tank for EMP uh, we have the end okay details total computing time 14 seconds and uh, 14 seconds as well for for EMP so we have 14 seconds seconds total I think most of that is our sleep so we have so we sleep 1 divided by 5 every turn the number of turns was 70 so 70 divided by 5 is something like 14 so the actual running time well we can remove that for the next uh, for the next run the actual running time will be less than a second i think we will see that in a moment uh, okay let's check that thing from documentation maybe here if someone knows, please do. Oh, contains stationary unit. Awesome. Uh, check if a location is blocked. True, if there is a stationary unit, the location falls otherwise. Okay, so if 
name state con contains stationary unit of uh, x. And what we wanted to see, I think, 12. No, uh, yeah, 12. Mm, if not, if it's empty, count gaps. Now the number of gaps should be should be correct and let's print that it's like it's one of things that is good to to print to see if uh, we agree with that sorry for like copying some things but i don't know python well uh, so for example i'm not familiar very much with uh, printing something uh, or with this format thing Okay, so uh, count gaps is okay, and here format count gaps. And to make it visible, let's for now turn off the map. And let's run it again. Okay, so we, what we change is now we count gaps and depending on that we do something. Uh, okay. Here we have count gaps 1, so I expect that at this moment uh, we would put a tank before our uh, EMPs. Here count gaps 9, so apparently a lot of those walls on our front were destroyed. Count gaps one, so yeah. So from now, from some moment, we will start putting tags. Uh, player two wins, so still uh, a solution without tanks was better. Okay, and also now we'll be able to see what is the total running time. Maybe it's displayed here. Uh, I don't see it. Okay, something happens. So uh, blue is five tank. So blue is our algorithm that we ch changed now. And indeed, a moment ago it didn't put a tank. It just uh, it just puts EMPs. And we expect that from some moment. Okay, so here I think we had. Here I think we had some tanks. Uh, one more important difference here is at the beginning it uh, so it was visible at the beginning that since we every time hire units here they go this direction so while that there was possible to, it was possible to go for this place it tried this place okay so our algo doesn't do well but it does what we expect it to do and this is the most important thing except for your very, very last algorithm uh, what sh you should pr uh, prioritize, prioritize is whether it works as you expect it to work what means that you don't have bugs and other stuff you can just basically at some moment copy from other people even uh, but it's important to do step by step and uh, not have bugs. Okay, so it works. Maybe one more change is that sometimes our units here are destroyed and then I don't put a tank while I, sh I could. So I will make a change. I think it's enough that this unit uh, like this place is taken or this place is taken and then there is no passage right so it was 12 or 11 mm. okay so if if not if this is empty and this is empty then we increase the number of gaps So this is 12, this is 11, and 
Okay, and we can start from here, so from 2 to 25. And now I think that also at this moment, right now, I didn't uh, hire a tank, but uh, with this new if I should. So let's try that. And uh, in a moment that will, I think we will be ending this stream for today. I can also talk a bit about not this competition stuff, like other competitions like this. Uh, but the, we will continue improving our, our good algorithm on Friday. And let's remember that I can't do too well uh, in this competition. Uh, like I can't try to achieve top one on stream because then it would spoil the whole competition and like everybody would could uh, rewrite that from my stream and copy that and we don't want that. So far uh, I can be honest that so far I tried to be as good as I can. I didn't hide anything. I'm honestly saying what I think and like what is my thought process and what I would do if I wouldn't streaming right now. Uh, but like I will have two more streams on Friday and Sunday and I think on Sunday I must like avoid something because Algert, Algert could be too good. But maybe I'm just too optimistic and well so far it isn't very smart, right? Like the the most complicated thing we did was here when we understand if there is a passage. Well by the way I believe that maybe in documentation there is a function for that. Maybe there is a function can I access some place or something like that? Uh, okay, let's uh, run this new replay and also check running time of that because now I removed uh, sleep 0 0.2 from Blue Algo. Okay, a bit faster. Okay, because now I think it. Okay, now it only shows computing time from the last turn. And here we can see 200 milliseconds. So this old algorithm still does uh, sleep 0 0.2 every every turn. Uh, okay. So in a moment, blue algo should fill the gaps. Well, it's still something here. And it should start using tanks. Maybe it matters a lot that at the beginning we put uh, EMPs here instead of just random places. Uh, I don't know. Or maybe it's important whether these two lines are a bit behind. Uh, but for some reason pink has advantage at the beginning. But maybe because it got, it got lucky. It's hard to say just by comparing the two algorithms. Uh, okay, and also I will submit this uh, in a moment. Let's okay now, maybe some tanks. Yeah, we have tanks. Awesome. Even though this this line wasn't whole like field. Okay, cool. Let's make it much faster. But we see, we see that if. Ping got so big advantage here, he must win, I think. But right now, tanks do quite good. Uh, I think two tanks were a good choice. So we have health is 30-30. Well, I will put it as a note that with enough support towers, uh, EMPs are powerful. Like they have good health, and they are uh, they outrange other units. So I'm not sure if uh, if a, if it's a good thing to use tanks in, at the late game. Maybe it's 
they are just good at the beginning. Okay, and now I think blue doesn't have chances. Yeah. Uh, so let's put a new node. Uh, a lot of health. Uh, in like many support types. Okay, mm, so let's see. Total com time computing for blue was half a second, 500 milliseconds. So yeah, like most of that was from sleep. And we got to round 90, by the way. So, but uh, it doesn't mean much if I compare two similar algorithms against each other, especially with this special format where everything goes through the middle. Mm, okay, let me submit uh, this new algorithm. No new matches here. Uh, mm. Can't wait to see the rest of the stream when I back home tonight. Well, so you will not see a lot of that because we are finishing now. So you will see like three extra minutes. Uh, print this is same as print uh, uh, percent d in C++. Yeah, I assumed it's something like that. Uh, so I assume that it doesn't matter what type we have here and we can print everything uh, primitive like ints and strings. Can we print arrays for example? Uh, how to prepare for ICPC? Uh, I think it's a very bad question for this stream. Like it's more about this game competition. So either, uh, in short, you have to solve a lot of problems, especially in your team. But it's a question for a competitive programming stream. Can you pause the streams when they are over? I will. YouTube automatically saves the video. Oh, I think that the computing time is based on your machine. You would need to watch a replay from the server, the algorithm, because the, that is way slower. Okay, okay, makes sense. Uh, thanks. Uh, by the way, it might help me actually, you know, like while competing in this competition to hold this stream because I learned a lot from, from you guys. For example, I wouldn't know that. I didn't know that this replay saves uh, running time and it's as it's on my machine. So my algos, so maybe here we have some some match. Uh, okay, we won. And here the total computing time is still 400 milliseconds. But still, maybe this server is indeed slow, slower because uh, it's a few, like there is fewer turns here. We ended at round forty-nine, while I think those matches were longer. When I said it's five hundred milliseconds. Uh, okay, thank you, Rishab, for for the print thing. Okay, so we will finish today's stream. Uh, if if you like games like this, uh, you should check out like sometimes Hacker Earth holds holds competitions like this. I think it's then called Battlebots, something like that. Uh, so this website also Coding Game uh, holds a competition like this every few months. And they are kind of professional, professional uh, in that because this is what they do. And also, you can absolve all old competitions there. So you can write an algorithm, you can write a program, and fight against uh, people that submitted during a contest 
years or months ago so it's an awesome website and and sometimes there are on-site competitions but uh, I'm not aware of any to come in the near future and in January there will be I hope there will be battle code I didn't have I learned about it this January uh, but didn't have enough time to uh, participate like I spent two days for that while if you want to fight uh, in something that has uh, tens of thousands of dollars in prizes you must spend hundreds of hours so this competition lasted one month and if you want to fight for uh, if you want to try to win either you have to have a big team in that competition you can compete as a team or you have to not do anything else for a month I think uh, thanks for the sim yeah thank you for watching uh, I enjoyed today's stream a lot. I thought that I will have more troubles with Python, but fortunately it was okay. We only did some simple things. Uh, oh, one thing that I remember now. Uh, next stream, watch other fights on Twitch. So let's uh, watch the rest of matches. Also, someone told me to watch leaderboard matches. So let's also remember that uh, just to see more possible strategies and then let's improve our algorithm and try to make it more like make it adjust to what enemy does so thank you very much for watching next stream will be on friday same same hour and the last one on sunday in the evening for europe and uh, see you next time Bye-bye, thank you for watching out.